There is a bill that could stop certain government employees from trading stocks. Will this bill pass? And is it fair? Let's find out. Right now, almost any federal government employee can log in to Webull or Robinhood and buy stocks. If you wanted to buy some Tesla stocks, if you wanted to get some GameStop shares, that's not a problem. You can even trade options and nobody's gonna say anything. You do not have to disclose it to anyone. But what if a federal government employee actually had privileged information? Let's say you work for the Department of Energy and you know that Tesla is about to sign a deal with the federal government in order to electrify their entire fleet. Wouldn't that information give you an advantage when you're trading? Should that be allowed? And it's not just that, but think about defense contracting companies. We're talking about Lockheed Martin, Booz and Allen. These are publicly traded companies that do a lot of work with the government. And if you knew that Lockheed Martin was coming up on an enormous deal with the federal government, wouldn't you want to buy shares in Lockheed Martin? That information alone would have the potential to make somebody a lot of money. And that's what this bill is trying to stop. It's targeted towards 7,000 of the senior executive service, the SESs. And it's not just them, it's also their spouses and their children. It would make it so they would not be able to purchase individual stocks on the stock market. Now, if you're not familiar with the SES or the executives, it makes up less than 1% of the entire federal government. And their salary is between 135,000 a year to 203,000 a year not including performance bonuses. So the concern is not just that the executives can profit from this privileged information, but it's also that it can influence policy decisions or regulation writing. If you're an executive highly invested in oil stocks, do you think that might hinder your performance if the government decides they want to do a full transition to electric vehicles? All right, so if this bill does go through, all 7,000 SESs will have six months to get rid of their shares. They can sell their shares or they can put them in a blind trust, but they have to do something with them. If they hold on to them past that, it will be considered unlawful. Now, if they sell at a loss right now, they can write that off on their taxes. Surprisingly, ETFs and mutual funds are still okay. Now, for mutual funds, I understand that because most of the time they're indexed towards the S&P 500. I have nothing against that, but ETFs can be highly specialized. So you can have an ETF for just solar power companies, or you can have an ETF for just semiconductors. So, so if you want to be invested in computer chips, you can do a semiconductor ETF. Now I understand ETFs is not a specific company, but it can be a specific sector. It would be nice to see a similar type of bill be passed for members of Congress. We always hear in the media about insider trading. And it was reported not long ago that 71 members of Congress violated laws related to insider trading. 71, and there's only like 535 members of Congress. So we're talking about 14% of Congress. And from my perspective, these lawmakers, these members of Congress probably have more influence and more privileged information than an SES. Now, if you work for or around an SES, you know that they have several GS-15s around them. So if an SES knows something, there's a high probability that one of those GS-15s, they know the same information. So my thought is, are we gonna see a bill that goes further than SESs, that then tries to encapsulate the GS-15 community? And then at what point does it stop? Are we gonna rope in the GS-14s as well? I just don't know, I don't see the end of this. But for now, it looks like we're gonna have to wait and see how this unfolds. Now, if you're watching this video and you heard about the upcoming federal government pay raise and you wanna know all the details concerning that pay raise, I want you to watch this video next. If you wanna see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.